guess what I got? Big Mac fries and a shake. I got a Corvette Stingray. A Corvette? A Corvette? You bought a Corvette? Yeah, it's a Mattel Hot Wheels car. See? Wow! It's just 59 cents with any food purchase at McDonald's. Collect a different Hot Wheels car each day, 14 and all, at participating McDonald's. I think tomorrow I'll buy the Jeep. Dad's buying a Jeep? Mattel Hot Wheels, 59 cents at McDonald's. Hey, what's happening everybody? This is Royce from Pet on Metal. Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be discussing the Hot Wheels cars that were sold at McDonald's locations in 1983 for 59 cents a piece. And these are normally, you, you will see these misidentified as Happy Meal cars when in fact they were, you didn't have to buy a Happy Meal at all. You, As long as you purchased a food item and then paid 59 cents, you could get one of the 14 cars. We'll take a look starting i have them laid out pretty much the same as the uh, i have original placemat back here you'll see here and one is the funny the firebird funny car two is the jeep cj7 three is a sheriff patrol four is baja breaker five is landlord Six, as featured in the commercial, was the Corvette Stingray. Seven was three window 34 coupe. Eight was Malibu Grand Prix. Nine was the Porsche 928 or P928. Number 10 is split window 63 Corvette. Number 11 is Mini Trek. Number 12 is a Chevy Citation. Number 13 is the Mercedes 380 SEL. And last but not least, 14 is Turismo. And we'll go ahead here and I'm going to take a look at each one of them just as a kind of a throwback. And it should be a fun video. First one is the Firebird Funny Car. This debuted in 1982. And it's pretty heavy, it's all metal. And of course, the, the body you can open up. I believe this one was uh, could be found in about four different colors, if my memory serves me correctly. I know I personally have uh, several of the burgundy, which is shown here, and a magenta one. And another one is the white with the fireballs. You see that one a lot. It is dated 77 on the bottom, so I might be wrong on the... Uh, the Bob Parker book shows it debuting in 82, but now that I'm looking at it, let me see here, maybe, let me see what the base, maybe this is, they might have used this base for Vetty Funny too, dated 77, which doesn't really make any sense to me, so I'm not sure this, oops, this could very well be the same base they used for Vetty Funny, which came out in 78. Which that would make sense then. Why is it dated 77? But anyway. Number two of the 14 was a Jeep CJ7. And this is like a copperish brown color. Metallic paint. According to my Bob Parker book, this debuted in 1982. I think it was originally sold in white. When it came out, I know I also have a yellow one, which was the uh, 1986 Kellogg's promotional one. That's Dan Interior. It's got some fishing rods or something thrown in the back of it. All metal. Looks like it's dated 81 on it. Number three is the Sheriff's Car or Sheriff Patrol. This debuted in 1982, even though the, the base is 77 on it. 
all metal. Okay, we'll move on to number four, Baja Breaker. This is vehicle number four out of the 14. It was Baja Breaker. And this is actually an error car. If you might be able to notice on video that it does not have the windshield, which was all part of that roof mechanism, all of the uh, vent and, or the sunroof, I guess you want to say. And it's the real deal. It's, it was sold that way for whatever reason. And um, there's no no kind of glass on the inside of it. And it's riveted together. It's never been tampered with. I believe that's dated 80 on there. I forget what the first year. Let me take a look here once. The first year. I think I came out in 81. And I'm sorry, Baja Breaker came out in 78, so that's why the base is dated 77 on it. And the Sheriff Patrol, I believe that one came out as the which as Highway Patrol in 1978. That's why that was dated 77 on the base. This Bob Parker book is the one book I think has quite a few uh, things wrong with it that seems to be... I don't know. I found several errors in the past in there. Okay, we'll move on to the next one. Car number five is Landlord. And that one debuted in 1982. And I believe this was the only release that of that car was in orange. I don't remember ever seeing it in any other paint colors it says street is neat on the back wing base is dated 81 dated 80 yeah 80 the base is dated 1981 which would make sense if it came out in 82 pretty pretty cool car All right, we'll move on to the next one. The one that was in the commercial, which is the Stingray. It's car number six. I believe this one debuted in 1982 in the red. It can also be found in black with the red, and I'm sure many other colors, but I know I here, ha I personally have the red and the black versions. I don't get too carried away with all the variations. This is a, the Hot Wheel, the Hot Ones uh, series Gold Wheels. And there's the Gold Wheels on it. Base is dated 80, it looks like. This is a metal flake, metal flake red, blue glass. We'll move on to the next one. Car number seven out of the 14 was the three window 34. This one debuted in 1980 and is a high raker. So that means you can raise up the back end of it. It's dated 79, so it would make sense if it came out in 80, but this one's stuck. But anyway, you can pull that mechanism out, that gray plastic section, and you can jack it up or leave it down. And I believe this set came with one other 
high breaker as well, and that was the gold Corvette. Car number eight is the Malibu Grand Prix. Which just features black, all over black with a rainbow tampo. I believe this was the third time that this car showed up when it reappeared in, uh, let's see here, when did this one reappear? I think this was 82. Yes, this uh, the Malibu Grand Prix reappeared. Now this does not have the real rider's tires. You could also get it with the real rider's tires in 82. But I believe it also was under the name Formula Pack and El Rey Special back in 74. But it's essentially the same mold. And also showed up in 84 as Lightning Gold with pretty much the same casting but the front was changed I believe just a hair on it. Yeah, it's dated 73 so they used it for 74 it's been, I think it made appearances at least four times that I could think of. Car number nine is the Porsche 928. And this is the Hot Ones, has the gold wheels. But then now this does not have an interior, they were sold with the black glass. For a reason they have it listed as a turbo, which of course Porsche never made a 928 turbo. They were in the aftermarket ones that were produced. But kids don't really know that. This is kind of like a tomato red color. Let's see what that's dated here on it. It's dated 82 on the bottom. In pretty good shape. Still got some issues here and there on it. But yeah, the, the Bob Parker book says this came out in 82. Car number 10 is the Split Window 63. And this is in a yellowish gold with orange and purple tampos. And this is a high raker. I think there's only two in this set of 14 were high rakers. So this could be raised up or brought down. So there, you want to jack it way up, you could bring it down. Pretty cool, I think. I think it's a cool feature for kids to have that extra play value to it. Pretty cool. Number 11 is Mini Trek. Now this one's definitely been played with, but there's not many nicks on the white, but the tampos are really worn on it. I had purchased all these from one seller on eBay who had everything listed incorrectly as to what I don't think he had. I think he bought the whole box at a yard sale or something. He didn't know what he had. But I knew right away what these all these cars were. And it even came with the placemat. So it was a pretty sweet deal to be able to have all of them in one shot. Now some of the cars are duplicates of what I already had prior but it's just cool to see them all in one location with the uh, with the placemat, which I've only seen pictures of that on Google. I've never seen a placemat for sale, so that was a pretty cool. So this is Mini Trek, which is dated. Let's see here what that one's dated. Hard to read, but it's got the black metal base. Let me find out here when that debuted. Well, that one debuted in uh, in that paint scheme, I believe, in eight, or in the tan originally in '81, and it was um, shown again in the white later on in '82, I believe. But the original release was the tan color in it. Number twelve, we have the Chevy Citation, and this is in a root beer color kind of more brown I would say on film here or on video it kind of looks burgundy but it's more of a brown color in person
The, the Citation came out in 81, the same time as the Mini Trek. And it originally was released in uh, red. And then you could also get it in the one anniversary pack in yellow, I believe. And then there's this color released in it. At least three or four colors that I can think of. But this was the color it was sold through McDonald's. It wasn't exclusive to McDonald's. It's just this happens to be the color. And it is a Hot Ones with the with those wheels. Car number 13 is the Mercedes 380 SEL sedan. And this was released in 1982 in the silver color. And then once again, then they brought it back, sold it also as a Hot Ones. So it has those the gold wheels on because I'm pretty sure I have one here mint on a card that does not have the gold wheels from 1982 with the standard silver wheels. Pretty cool. This one's also in pretty good shape considering these were played with toys. And last but not least, number 14 with Turismo. Turismo came out in 1981 and I believe was sold in two colors. Um, most majority of the time you see it in this red with the yellow and white tampos. And a lot of people refer to this as the DeLorean, the DMC-12, which I guess I can kind of see. Maybe they didn't couldn't get the licensing for DeLorean at the time, but I, I definitely can see that DeLorean influence in this design for sure. But you'll see them on eBay listed as DeLoreans. It's not really, it's not really a DeLorean, but I guess it does sort of look like one. And it actually does even have lines on the roof for the Galwing doors, though. So I think it is probably is highly influenced by the DMC-12. This one as well has been played with, so the Tampas are, have some slight wear. This one's out of my own personal collection, the one that came with the uh, 14 I got off the guy off eBay. That was pretty rough, so I'm not going to show that one. I thought I'll clean mine up and stick mine in here on the stand. But that was pretty much the only one out of all of them that was uh, unpresentable, I should say. Really, really worn. So there you go. That is all 14 of them. And that is from, if we back it up here, there's the placemat once again, which I'm proud of. I already got a, a frame for that. Very cool to see one of these placemats. I had never seen one before. Um, don't know if that's something that would ever, probably doesn't come up very often on eBay. So that's something I'm proud of. And that's going to be hung in my office. So I hope you guys like this video. If you like this kind of video, and be sure to subscribe. And I'll have other types of videos, such as some customs thrown in here and there. But I also do the reviews of uh, vintage toy cars, diecast, not just Hot Wheels, and um, other unusual things, and sometimes do-it-yourself tips and whatnot. So until next time, I'll see you guys later. All right, bye now.